Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here inside. Usually I don't start videos inside because truth be told, Tom hates it. But today is a very exciting day that we must start indoors. Um, the babies are starting. This is great. We have one little baby rhino iguana who's decided to join the planet. And they come out extremely wiggly. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh my gosh, we got baby rhinos. Oh, he's so slippy. Oh, so slippy. So slippy. There we go. I had to be fast. And look at this beautiful little baby rhinoceros iguana, guys. Oh, they're little dinosaurs and they just wake up. Oh, it's a beautiful little specimen. Aren't they gorgeous? Is this cool? It never ever gets old. We've got new life. Beautiful little baby rhinoceros iguanas. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm gonna have to get them set up now. Now I've got to create a little nursery because we're gonna have plenty more of these little boogers. Look at this. Oh man, so it's awesome. Right now, their yolk is inside um, and it's gonna be feeding this baby for about a week, maybe two weeks before he'll have to actually start to uh, eat food on his own. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this guy back in the incubator and I'm gonna get to work on creating a really cool little habitat for these babies to start growing in. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, yeah, little baby rhinos, iguanas that is. Cyclora cornuta, awesome. All right, let's get to it. All right, everyone, uh, very simply, I've set up my nursery here. We've got the Fluca Reptibark. We've got a Fluca Water Bowl or Food Bowl. We've got the Aquascape Fake Logs. We've got a Slate Rock here. Uh, we've also got some of the Habahides from Fluca. These are really cool, naturalistic. I want to set all the hides up in one area so that all the lizards tend to hide underneath something. Now, you may be thinking, why are you using such a different type of enclosure? Usually the tortoises are in here. Now, what I've noticed is the babies, when I put them in an enclosure that they can climb up high, um, it's hard for me to grab them and they can potentially run out of the doors that are on the top when I stick my arm through. This is gonna be better because what I have here is I can shut all three of these doors 
And then when I go to grab a lizard, I can quickly grab one here. They'll tend to run back and forth and very rarely are they gonna jump straight out because remember lizards are looking, they're, they're gonna see this solid and stop at the door. So at least it gives me an opportunity to kind of grab from here or if I have to, I can shut the door and then grab another one over here. So I'm gonna try this out. It's a little bit of an experiment, but I think it's gonna work better for me. Um, I had to reinforce this side because unfortunately um, these are, not made with the you know the strongest wood these are tortoise houses and um you know they've been gosh it's i've had these for maybe six years uh so in these conditions they tend to rot out uh so i had to reinforce certain areas um i put the rep the bark in and as you saw i misted it down i like to get some of that dust down on these but what I can do with this is simply I can roll it in and out of the sun. Now you guys know I have this room over here. We've got outlets. I've also got a bunch of Fluker uh, heat lamps that I'm gonna set up for them on days when they just can't uh, be outside. But again, this door is quite big. If I put them in this, it's gonna be hard for me to grab and they could potentially run out either of these two doors. Um, I'm gonna try out the next, uh, you know, this old tortoise house. Um, and do it that way. The other cool thing is if I do get baby tortoises, they can go habitate with these uh, little baby rhinos. Um, the thing with the rhinos is, um, you know, I'm gonna hold on to them for a couple of weeks and then I'm gonna offer them up uh, for sale. Uh, they are Petro and Petra's babies. They were laid at the end of August or middle of August. It takes about 90 days for these guys to hatch out. Um, they're beautiful little babies. And uh, let's go grab one of them and get them in uh, its new enclosure. Uh, this is really, really cool. So I'm very excited about what's happening here. And we're also gonna have so many more hatch over the next few days. So that'll be fun as well. So let's see if we can grab this little dude again. Here we go. He's gonna be a little tired. So we have to gently open this up, there he is. And the other thing is, folks, is what happens is when one is born, they tend to kind of run around and do their thing and kind of push this around. So what's gonna happen? You know what I think I'm gonna do, guys? Since he's just born, let's go, uh, let's wait. Let's wait until we get a few more and uh, see how they do. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a time lapse. Let's see how these little babies do and see if we can get any more hatching on camera before we put them in their new enclosure. been a couple of days and uh, things are going well. I just wanted to show you what's happening here with our babies. Look at this. Look at this. We got little babies right here. Little babies starting to slither, slither out. Oh boy, there's a few of them. I'm gonna have to catch those up. Look at this. Is that amazing? It is so cool to see them hatch. Oh, that's so rad. So we're gonna let them continue to uh, come on out of their eggs and I'm gonna move them, oh, their little fat bellies. I'm gonna move them into, look at this. Look at that little fat belly. That one just hatched. We're gonna put them in this uh, empty container. There's uh, already one in there, but I'm just gonna continue to let these guys absorb their yolks. Then we're gonna put them in their new enclosure. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update as to what's going on with all these little babies. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, so we got a couple more babies uh, that are going to be hatching. It looks like we've got two poking out, three are going to hatch, but I do have quite a few that have already emerged. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get these guys set up because, man, it could take another few days, and uh, we got to get a video out. Let's be honest. I can't keep, uh, can't keep holding this off. You can only do so many time lapses before, you know, it's time to go. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull these things out. Also got an impromptu visit from one of my favorite human beings. That's my niece, Avi. That's all you get to see of her because, you know, I don't know. She's probably not interested in being in a reptile video. But uh, good, glad you're here, kid. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, that's my pal. Uh, anyway, we're outside now and um, it's a rainy day. 
it's a bit of a gloomy rainy day here in Florida but I'm excited because we got new babies man so let's go ahead and put them into the uh new habitat that we've created for them look at this everyone's kind of having a bit of a uh a bit of a gather right around here that's funny so uh let's put these guys in I got to get a heat lamp set up for them and then we have got new babies a new generation of rhinoceros iguanas on earth from Petro and Petra so excited all right so here we are this is going to be their hangout right here and the cool thing is I'm going to take this box and just put it right in here but I'm going to go ahead and open this we've got water we've got hiding areas we got everything that these little little boogers are going to have to need for a happy healthy life so um what I want to do first is grab how lucky am I by the way to have friends like I have at Fluker Farms because what they've done for me is they've given me everything that I need to use to make these animals lives just awesome and uh, I got to find it first let's see there's a lot of boxes <laughs> I have to find the heat lamps guys oh boy is that where I put them? Let me see. It's a little dark in here. Let me see. Is this it? Can you believe I have all this stuff? I can't. Oh, let's grip. Yep, that's it. That's what we need. The sunspot. Awesome. There it is. I also need to go grab um, a light bulb, but I just want to get this set up first. Uh, we've got heat in here. It's going to be cool again this weekend. Bit of a pain in the neck. We've got these empty cages that are going to serve as just holding for the weekend for some of the other animals. But let's go ahead and get some of these babies going, all right? This is what we want to see. Oh, man. And I want to get this clamp on. No problem. There we go. All right. This is it, people. I'm going to pull this out for a moment. So I can put these little dudes in here. Let's see how well my little thing works. Look at all these baby rhinos. Oh God, don't, don't jump out. Don't jump out. See, just like I said, they're gonna run back and forth. They're not necessarily gonna jump up and out, I don't think. That would be a bummer. But uh, this is cool, huh? So these, this is gonna be their little nursery for these little guys and hopefully they do really well which i'm sure they will i'll be keeping my eyes on them making sure that these little boogers are healthy and ready to go to new homes so there you have it if you guys are interested in one of these baby rondo guns email me at kennanh1 at comcast.net and that would be swell i'll let you know uh what it takes to purchase one of these little dudes once they're ready to go and uh, everyone have a, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little dark. Uh, but I want everyone to have a great day. It is a good time, man. We've still got quite a few babies that need to uh, come out. Five more, if you can believe that. So how awesome. I'm going to finish setting these guys up. You guys have a great day wherever you are. Thanks so much for joining me on our little journey today. Uh, well, the last couple of days, to be perfectly honest, as we were getting these animals ready, um, getting the nursery ready, watching them hatch. It's always so fun, don't you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's fun to watch these animals kind of hatch out of the egg? It never gets old for me. Have you hatched anything? I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's it. Uh, even though it's not the prettiest of days, it's still a pretty good one here at the camp. So I'll see you all again real soon. Thanks so much. Talk to you. Say, uh, say, say see you later. <laughs>